Now, Adrian, with pies, you're either on one side or another. You like the classics, you don't want it mucked with, or your new age fusion. Let's have a bit of a party. Let's change up the ingredients. But I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I have kata ifi, which I'm going to put beautifully on the top of the pie there. And I'm going to do a bit of a Thai curry. So think about, Gosh. you know, Thai, having a bit of roti. It's kind of like putting the whole thing together, but you're using that kata ifi is that lovely crunch. So I have some beautiful shallots here. I absolutely love shallots. I find them a little bit sweeter. Nice. They're absolutely beautiful. So I want you to just chop up garlic, shallots. Now I have some beautiful celery here. I know you wouldn't put celery and curry together all the time, so I think that's fine. That's so fine. we want a nice small dice. It's like we say, we want things to be pretty much all the same size so that they cook at the same time, which is really the main trick. So I have a nice non-stick pan here, enough to make a good amount of filling. Some extra virgin olive oil. Now you can clear out your fridge. Like you said, you can use your old curry that you've got, or you can have some of those old veggies that you were maybe not sure what to do with. Stick it in a curry, stick it in a pie, even better. So on we go with that one. Oh, I love that sound. Celery cooks same time as the onion on there. It cooks for a while, so those flavours do kind of go down a little bit. And we go there. So what we'll do, we'll just sauté this one off a little. OK, so I have some carrots. I want you to dice it a little bit smaller than this pumpkin just here. And I will start adding the spices, the flavour in there. Now, I have some turmeric, bright, bright yellow. Again, it's going to just contribute to this gorgeous colour here. It's got a bit of black pepper in as well, as well as some coconut oil, which just helps its bioavailability there. So I just have one tablespoon. In we go there. Have a bit of curry powder here as well. So we want to have some curry powder. It's got a nice flavouring. And then if you want to add a bit more spice, feel free to do so as well. Have some coriander powder in there. Sometimes I love using coriander powder. Um, fresh as well, obviously, is beautiful. A bit of tomato paste just to richen things up. I like that. In there. It's smelling good already. Oh, great stuff on the dicing. Frozen peas, of course, we can't have a curry without some frozen peas. So this really is, you'll realise, it's a bit of a fridge hack, this one. Some beautiful chickpeas, some plant-based form of protein in there. In we go with that one. Nice. Got some coconut milk here too, so in we go with that. You can use coconut cream as well. Or you can coconut use coconut juice. cream, yeah. yep, no problem. And if you aren't a fan of coconut based curries, you could use a tin of chopped tomatoes as well, some yeah. old Wilson tomatoes uh, in there too. So in we go with the pumpkin. You'll see it's really a bit of a, a one pan dish. In we go. Throw this in as well. Yep, throw it in with the pumpkin. There we go. So we'll do add that water down there, just mix everything around. So I'll just let this cook for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and get that lid on. That's cooked up perfectly. Time now to get our Keta Aifi little pie lid on there. So that's okay. it. Cut it. You want as much of that, that perfect amount there. Now we want to just really stretch this out. You'll see it's almost like a vermicelli noodle. You can use it in lots of different things, sweet and savoury. I um, absolutely love it, but more, it's a showstopper. People look at this and they are got to ask you about it, so that's what I love about it. I actually, it's really nice to work with with your fingers. It feels nice in your hands. I suppose the trick is with this is taking it out a couple of hours before you're going to use it, so it's actually at room temperature. It's a quite a simple pastry to use, no, isn't it? No, you can have it just like this, but I am just going to infuse it a little bit with turmeric, OK? So I've got some olive oil, some turmeric as well. Well, so we do it on the deck here. Why don't we do it on the deck? Yeah, on the deck? Yeah. And I will just follow you along there. There we go. Nice drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. There we go. Look, I've got it all over my fingers. And that's there we go. That's why we go. wanted to do that. That's it, most definitely. Now, of course, we need the filling in there. So, Richard, I'm going to give you that one sure, there. Sure. There we go. And we'll pour that into there. There we go. Into it like that. That's perfect. perfect. That's the right amount. Look oh, at that. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Looks like someone maps. else did their homework. <laughs> so I want to just stretch out. We want to turn it into just little, little balls of this beautiful, beautiful pastry. Like that? Just in there. That's perfect. And just little balls of this gorgeous stuff. Although, if the Just kids are there. playing with it, expect for some of it to go all over the no, place. No, the cooking's about being messy, isn't it? So I have the oven on 200 degrees, and we're just going to cook it up for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's already done quite a bit of the cooking already. But, of course, we want this beautiful pastry top to be nice and crunchy. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, lovely. Lovely. More the merrier with that one. So into the oven we go, 20 to 30 minutes on 200 degrees. In we go.
Hasn't that come up beautiful? It is. Look at the yellow. The chimney's gone all the way through. The has gone all the way through, which is exactly what we like. And it's nice and crunchy. Nice, hefty slice there. Make sure we get that beautiful nice. curry in there. Isn't that just, it's just so unique, isn't it? I'm going to just have a little piece of that pastry because I think that's, sure. that's the part of it. It looks like a little knife and fork down there. I should eat with a knife and fork, oh, shouldn't I? There I want some of that. Pastry's beautiful. It's nice and crisp. Mm. It's got that turmeric flavour on it. I want to have a little taste of that curry as well. That is lovely. I love it. So the curry's quite rich. Mm. And then you kind of have a little bit of a break, a little bit of a crunch from the katifi. I think it's a really quick and easy way to put a pie together that's really, really simple, crunchy and effective. Well done. I think you've done a great job. Thanks.